All right, thank you very much, Tim Scott and Nick Lima. Now I'm joined by Newport Gulls player of the game, Ben Roberts. Ben, another tough floor here tonight for the Newport Gulls. But first, uh, you had a couple of bright spots at the plate here tonight, driving in two of the Newport Gulls' three runs in this ball game, including your second home run of the season. That ball was just crushed. Yeah, I mean, it uh, felt good. Put a good swing on it. First pitch, just uh, sitting fastball. Um, you know, just didn't really generate enough runs tonight, unfortunately. Um, but, uh, you know, that's how it goes sometimes. Tough game here again tonight for the Newport Gulls, but Cardinals Field has always been a, a bit of a hitter's paradise, not only for Newport, but for even other teams. But looking at the Newport Gulls stats coming into tonight's game, Ben, just about everybody's hitting better here at home than on the road. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if that has to do anything with the park or just uh, being on the road, riding on the bus before the game can have something to do with it too. Um, but uh, it's nice with these high walls and kind of a short porch. So if you some parks, if you hit a pop-up, it might uh, hit off the wall here where it might be an out somewhere else. So. Ben, tonight we saw a controversial play later in the ball game. Uh, what did you see and where were you at during the play when the play took place? I was just, I was in the dugout just watching and, uh, you know, from my point of view, it looked like he looked like he caught it. It was a great play, um, whether or not he did catch it or not. But, uh, you know, nobody really knows for sure if he did. But, uh, you know, it's a great effort by him. Now, we did get official word after the game. The game was put into protest at that point. Uh, the reason why was not whether or not he made the catch, but the umpire's uh, call did not come until after he was the uh, several players had already, had already run out of the dugout to go over it and check on him. Um, of course, you know it was, it was a it was a tough situation. You have, you have somebody that was potentially hurt. You know, obviously that's always the tough the first priority. Yeah, yeah. It was, I mean, guy ran into a metal pole out there. You know, obviously first your first reaction is to run over and check if your buddy's okay. So kind of a tough deal, and uh, you know. The umpires didn't run out there fast enough to make the call and just kind of a big giant mess, but that's just how it goes. So as a result, we saw Mike Coombs in a lengthy argument and he was ejected from the game. Yeah, um, got to love that. A little excitement. So uh, Newport Gulls will look to turn it around tomorrow and head back on the road against the Mystic Schooners, always a tough opponent over at uh, Fitch Field, not far from here. One positive note here for the goals the next week or so, other than that, maybe that makeup game with North Adams, still waiting on official word when that will be played. Uh, most of the road trips here from here on out are pretty short, right up the road. Yeah, we're pretty excited about that. You know, it was a tough week uh, with uh, Keen and North Adams back to back, and uh, with that getting canceled and stuff. So, you know, we're happy to be playing at home, and then some short road trips uh, coming up. Excited for that. All right, Ben Roberts, your goals play the game. Big home run here tonight. And sorry about the loss, but uh, we'll catch up with you soon. Thanks, Nick. We'll send it back up to Tim Scott, the captain, and Blair Schneider with more.